Hello and welcome to this introductory PenFriend tutorial and what we're going to look at in this tutorial is looking at really just starting from PenFriend straight out the box so as soon as you click PenFriend um, you can start working with it. Of course you can make some initial changes by changing the background colour and the text colour just under view and uh, PenFriend pre preferences. But if you want to just start using PenFriend, um, that's one of the great be benefits is its ease of use. You can just start typing and as you can see here, PenFriend uh, is appearing just after four characters. Now I'm using Notepad so it's not automatically uh, capitalising the words but I can go back and change that. So I want to carry on and PenFriend helps me and I'm just writing the second character down and then it appears just down in the list there, the fourth one down. And now it's contextualising the words and I'm getting my uh, writing down much, much quicker. So PenFriend helps me with, so it's helping me with my uh, spelling and my grammar. So let's type down the first character, a couple of characters and there it's straight away it's getting those, those words. Uh, for spelling. So let's just get spelling, F8 and it also helps me with uh, my grammar as well. So just third, fourth character and it identifies it. So this is just using PenFriend straight out using the default lexicon that's that's there. You don't have to make any changes at this time. It works straight, straight out the tin, I suppose, straight out the box, ease of use, and it's a great advantage. You don't have to be uh, a program or a technical uh, expert. It's it's so easy to use. So what I might want to do now is I want to want to save that lexicon. So. Um, what I can do is then just go to save lexicon or save as and maybe put it in a folder, a new folder where I can keep all my lexicons together. And this is particularly important if you're creating lots of lexicons. So again, a, another good feature of PenFriend is you can very uh, easily make custom lexicons. So I'm just going to make a new folder here and I'm going to call it my PenFriend lexicon and store it in there. And let's just see what it's going to look like up here and make it uh, the large icon so you can see that a bit better. Okay, so there's my pen friend lexicons. That's where I want to store my new lexicon and save it in there. Okay, I've got a name for it and then save that. Okay, and you can now see that the new lexicon is called my pen flip lexicon. So it may be then I want to go and maybe open up a new lexicon or a different kind of lexicon. So from there again I can go into either open lexicon or open default lexicon depending which lexicon I want, if I want one that I've saved myself or if I want some of the default lexicons. So I'm using PenFriend Excel and you can see there's lots of other European languages in there to choose from. Uh, but I've also got my standard lexicons just down at the bottom. So my English lexicons, there's the default they range from uh, 30,000 words, 10,000 words, 500 words. There's even an empty lexicon, so you can create your own lexicons from fresh as well. So it depends on the needs of your learner or the needs of the person that you're working with or yourself. You can create um, the, the complexity of the lexicon. So I'll just bring this in. This is 30k. This is how it looks. And again, just to start typing in PenFriend will with um, ease of use start start working straight away and predicting the words. So I'm just going to repeat that sentence that we did. Pen friend and there it is. It's just getting those words going. I've got the homophone checker as well just appearing as I, I roll over some of those words and just get some is good. Pen friend is good for again pen friend is good for spelling and grammar and many many other things as well. So as you can see, the ease of use of using the, the, the lexicon, um, nice and easy. So another good feature from PenFriend.